This is Math 99 practice test number three. This is problem number eight. We have a little uh, little problem to solve. There's 42 coins. Uh, they're worth $2.51. We know that there's pennies, nickels, and um, dimes. We know the number of pennies is one more than three times the number of nickels. That's, that's supposed to be the pound sign for number of. So let me take these things one piece at a time. So this part right here, there's 42 coins. Um, that means if I take the number of pennies plus the uh, number of nickels plus the number of dimes, I'll get 42, like 42 total coins. So let's take the next part. Altogether, those coins are worth uh, $2.51. I could also think of that as 251 cents. I'm going to think of it that way because it's easier. So if I... Uh, each penny is worth one cent. So if I take my number of pennies, that's one each, and add that to five times my number of nickels, right? Because each nickel is worth five cents. Add that to 10 times my number of dimes, because each dime is worth 10 cents, I'll get 251 cents. I have two equations written so far, um, each off a different piece of information. And now this is gonna give me one more equation. So let me, um, let me do a little bit of kind of scratch work with this part. Um, and I'll do it, I'll do it over here on the other side. So the number of pennies is, so the number of pennies is uh, one more than something. So something plus one, three times the number of nickels, three times the number of nickels. Great. So um, the number of pennies is one more than three times the number of nickels. And so thinking about that way, just to get this kind of in like the same form that these are in, where all the variables are on the same side and just the answers over here, um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to subtract 3n from both sides. Sorry about that. Um, I'm just going to subtract 3n from both sides. So I could rewrite this as p minus 3n equals 1. So I could throw that in here. p minus 3n, dimes aren't a part of that, is equal to 1. So, great, now I have this system to solve. And what I notice about this system, too, is like I already have a d eliminated. So I think what I'm going to do is try to eliminate that d using that d. And then I'll just have a little two by two to, to solve. So, geez, I did that again. Sorry about that. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go, um, uh, let's see, 10 times this minus that. So, I'm going to go 10 times equation one minus equation minus equation two, put that in the equation two spot. So I still have uh, pennies plus nickels plus dimes equals 42. If I multiply this by 10, let me scratch that up here. That'd be 10p plus, uh, sorry, 10n plus 10d equals 420. And now I'm going to subtract equation 2 from that. So 10p minus p is 9p. Um, 10n minus 5n is 5n. Um, and this is what I wanted to happen. 10d minus 10d is 0. So I'm going to have 0ds there. And then I'm going to go... Um, 420 minus 251, and yeah, I'm using a calculator for that, 169. And then I also know that P minus 3N equals 1. So now looking at this system, I've taken this and reduced it down to a two by two. 
So I think I'll just try and get rid of that P right there. So what I'll do next then is I'll go um, negative 9 times equation 3 plus equation 2 goes into the equation 3 spot. So my first equation, P plus N plus D equals 42, still stands. My next equation is 9P plus 5N equals 169. And then I'm going to go, um, let's see, this one times negative 9. So that would make this um, a negative 9P. That would make this a positive 27N. And this would make this a negative 9. I'm going to add that to that. So 9p minus 9p is 0. I wanted that to happen. Um, 27 plus 5 is 32. Jeez, I keep doing that. I'm so sorry. Um, 32n equals, and then negative 9 uh, plus 160 is, is 160. So let's see. I go 160 divided by 32, I get 5. So I can tell from here that n is 5. So that means there's 5 nickels. And that means I can use that anywhere to figure out how many pennies there are. And I think I'll, I'll plug it in right here. So p minus 3 times n equals 1. So P minus 15 equals 1. So the number of pennies must be 16. So there's 16 pennies, 5 nickels. Has to add up to 42 altogether. So if I just go um, 42 minus 16 minus 5, I get 21. So um, that means that there's 21 dimes. So there's five nickels, 16 pennies, 21 dimes.